Hi there, Russ Drury from the Success Crew at Zeppelin. Uh, what we're going to have a look at in this video is connected components. And you can see here that I'm looking at uh, a design I've been working on for an iOS app. And right in the middle of the screen, we've got a component which I've been inspecting that is already part of my style guide. And you can tell that from the, the blue tag that I have here. So with this con um, connected component selected, I'm going to refer to the right hand panel here where I get to inspect more uh, elements and details of that component. Uh, in the component panel, you can see that we first of all have the name of that component. And if I wanted to find out where that was in my style guide, I could link through to that there. But I also have the source file for where the co uh, connected component lives and the coded element of that is stored. We've got a description for that component as well as the code snippet. But the most powerful part of this is that we actually have the context for this in the code repository as well. And that, in essence, is the connected component part. So here I've already set up in the background that uh, this particular component exists in Storybook and GitHub, and I've made links to those. And simply by clicking on any of these links, that would open up that code repository. So in this case, uh, if I had it stored in Storybook, I could select that. Uh, I don't have access to that, so I'm going to go and click on the GitHub link, and that will open up my window here where this button is stored. So you can see the source for components, buttons, button.js, and that's the path uh, that was also mentioned in the, uh, in the code snippet. And you can see here a much more expanded version of the code for that particular button. So really useful um, to be able to link through to that. Um, I've also added additional links as well. And because um, we have integrations with uh, Visual Studio Code, you would be able to open up uh, this code snippet directly into Visual Studio Code. Alternatively, you could develop your own uh, connections to other code editors if you were using something else, but we have Visual Studio Code out of the box. Um, we could also show the, uh, the repository in the Finder window if that's where we had it stored as well. Now, if I was to uh, bring this back in here on screen, uh, I also want to show you some other documentation which we have for connected components. Uh, this is our features website, which can be found on zeppelin.io forward slash features connected components. And you can see some uh, very brief GIFs of how that is uh, used in exactly the same way that I've just demonstrated, as well as how it would refer to the, uh, the code in the back end and other useful information that's accessible there as well. Also on our blog, we have more detailed release notes and information which links through to very useful articles about connecting to React components, for example. Uh, here you can also access the Visual Studio Code extension. Again, you can see other quick GIF images of how that works and find uh, links to other articles about how you would connect to Storybook and other custom links that you might want to set up as well. We have a GitHub page for that where all of the documentation about connecting your components to your repository is stored. Um, all of it is very straightforward and understandable. Uh, if you do need any more help with that, then please do reach out and we'd be happy to assist.